Okay, this is how to approach a question that describes a motion and asks you to sketch a position versus time graph of the motion. So let's say that uh, we're told that the object, an object starts with a positive position And uh, let me reword it. I was going to say positive velocity, but another way to say that is moving in the positive direction. Then it speeds up. Then it slows down until rest. Um, and then let's say that it speeds up in the negative direction. until the position is zero. Okay, so that's a sort of a typical kind of problem. Uh, and each one of these things is a clue to something about the graph. And if you're, if you're not going clue by clue and thinking about what those mean, then you're not doing this right. Okay, so let's think about what a position versus time graph looks like here. So, I'm going to draw the axis. Position is always the vertical axis and time is always the horizontal. And we're just going to go one by one through what this tells us. Okay, so the object starts with a positive position moving in the positive direction. Um, pause the video and uh, see if you can figure out what this tells us about the graph. Just this first part. Okay, well, it starts with a positive position, so uh, we know that at time equals zero, we're going to be somewhere above the, the time axis, you know, somewhere with a positive position. And um, it says that it's moving in the positive direction. That means that the velocity is positive, so the slope at this instant is going to be positive. So I'm going to just start by drawing this kind of guideline, this, uh, this dotted line here. Okay, so it's going to start out with a slope like that, you know. It's just starting that way. We don't know what it's going to do sort of at the next instant, but we know it's going to start with a slope like that. Then it speeds up. Okay, so now you have to ask yourself, what does it mean for something to speed up? Um, it means that the uh, velocity and acceleration have the same sign. Uh, the velocity we know is positive. So that means the acceleration also has to be positive. So from here, we know that we have a positive acceleration. Pause the video and see if you can uh, figure out what the shape will look like um, as this thing goes through its positive acceleration. Okay, well, we know it's a positive acceleration, so it's going to be concave up. Okay, so that's what a positive acceleration looks like. And now we'll go on to the next clue. Now it says it slows down until it's at rest. Okay, well, uh, slowing down means the velocity and acceleration have opposite signs. We know that the slope of the tangent is positive for all of these points. The velocity is positive. So the acceleration has to be negative. So pause the video and see if you can figure out what happens as this goes through its negative acceleration until it's at rest. Okay, negative acceleration means concave down. 
So now it's going to switch to concave down. And it's going to do that until the slope of the tangent line is zero. Okay? You see that? So that's what it means for it to be at rest. It means it's reaching a point where the slope of the tangent line is zero. So now we're on to the next part. It slows, uh, no, it slows down until it's at rest. Now it says it speeds up in the negative direction until the position is zero. Um, okay, well, you can't go any slower than rest. So um, if you're starting at rest, whichever sign the acceleration is, that's the way the object's speeding up. So this says it speeds up in the negative direction. That means it has to have a negative acceleration. And it's going to continue that negative acceleration until the position is zero. Uh, pause the video and see if you can figure out what this last part of the graph does. Okay, so uh, negative acceleration is concave down. So it's going to sort of continue this concave down thing. Uh, And it's going to keep being concave down until it reaches, notice that that time axis is zero position. So it's going to continue this negative acceleration until, um, until it reaches position zero. So that's the approach to these problems. Um, notice that this tells us At time equals zero, the position is positive and the velocity is positive. Okay, this tells us for the first part, uh, the acceleration, because speeding up means velocity and acceleration have the same sign, this tells us acceleration is positive. Slowing down, this next part, um, since the velocity is positive, Slowing down means acceleration is negative. And then from rest, uh, speeding up in the negative direction means a negative acceleration. So this tells us negative acceleration um, and that, that continues until the position is equal to zero. And that's just exactly how you have to approach this to do these kind of problems.